Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn about the Laravel APIs. When we talk about the Laravel APIs, we talk about the same terms. So in this, we will learn about the same terms API with Postman. So, this is what we are going to learn. The first word, the first one is what is same terms API? How to create the projects, install symptoms, create register function, log in, get user profile, and also log out. So, what is the symptoms APIs? Laravel symptoms work as your API bouncers, ensuring only authorized users enter. It prevents the user clocky also system and offer a simple token based approach. Each user get their own unique I APIs tokens. So it's very important when you log in you get you the unique the unique token for access the data for access the APIs. Acting like a secret password, yes, here is the, uh, 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 the meanings. A secret password to access specific resources within your app, okay. Next, it's very simple to create the uh, Laravel projects, okay, and how to install it and uh, create register user. So I'm sorry, here is not this code for in here it uh, register function so now i will show you how to do it in postman so let's go the first one we need to create the uh, laravel elements projects i go to cmds i switch to drive d I switch part to uh, folder lesson and then I create the Laravel element projects with this code composure create projects Laravel the project's name is Laravel Saint Tom's APIs enter it It finished and you can see the version of the Laravel here is version 11 okay close it now I open Visual Studio codes and then I open the project go to open folder I go to try this Go to folder lesson and then looking for the project is here. Select it. Okay. Then I go to terminal, new terminal. I run the commands php addition self. Is the Okay, click here. You can see it's the Laravel 11 projects. And then we go to the projects again, go to new terminals. I install the same terms API in here. So the command php addition install APIs. Enter it. So the same terms will install in here. This one, mm -mm, I choose yes. Then I clear the commands. 
go to here, you can see the API of a file is coming. The migration also coming here. So you can see it's by default of the same tones APIs. Then I go to the environments. I config the uh, connection in here. Uh, the DB connection, I use my actuals. And database name, I use Laravel Symptoms DB. I save it. Then I go to, I copy this and I go to the my actual okay so call host each be my admin create new database and pass in here and then create after I create it, I go to the project and run the command php addition migrate. Done. So I refresh this. You can see he is the uh, user tables so we will create the register user in here also now I start to open my postman if we talking about the API we need postman to uh, to test it it's a very basic I allow it Okay. Now I create the collection. Right click in here. Okay, create in here, blend collection. And I, the collection, I should rename it to. Yes, Laravel and Tom's inside this collection. I create the request. So add new request, and then the request is call get cs. CFOF session. And then we need to put the URL in here. So you can see here is the IP. Let me check our project here. Okay, this is the IP. Then I pass in here. Okay. So we need to get the cookies, the CSOS cookie from Centomes. Let me save and then I should send it. Okay, you can see it's working fine. Let me check the uh, token here. It is the tokens. This is very important that we use it. Okay. So, mm -mm. okay, so we here we, we rename this to cookies. Now we get uh, token and then we add new request. 
So the quick way is register. Then I use method in here. Your it mean we take push. I copy this IP. Pass in here. And then I put register. Okay, in here should register. Okay, then I save it. I go to our brackets again. Then I clear this command. I create one controllers. So my controller names os controllers. Okay. And then I go to controller to create the register function. So we go to apps in here. Os controllers. Then we start to create the function public function name the register request then I declare one variable data request validate so names it's a request we need to require and then the tie is string This is the name of user and then we copy and pass in here. We need to create email. Okay, the email in here we need to validate email and then we need to put Unix users. And here is the password and my password needs at least six character six, six character and then we start declare user variable and then we got the model user then we create data and then I need to create the tokens users create tokens as tokens Plan text tokens not import the model user let me again here is import then we return after we create we return the data user users and we return the token also tokens okay and then I save it I go to the model I need to put the uh, has has I API token in here okay 
let me save it and then I go to row and here I need to create the register row so the method is posh I name the register I put the controller here ask controllers then register okay let me save it I go to uh, check here it's correct and then we go to uh, postman and then we need go to headers and then we need to put the key accept value is application json H H S O F token and then we need to copy the token here okay it's very important now we copy this token copy and then we go to register and pass token in here okay and the body is I choose a row and then we need to put some data in here in order to register the users names and then name I put data and then the email is dara at gmails.com and the password the password it should be one two three four five six seven eight okay that's right now send it it's okay mismatch okay we need to decode the token so I go to Google and then I type decode let me find the mm -hmm. yes and then I copy the tokens copy this and then pass in here click decode then I copy this okay headers and then we go to tokens delete this and pass the new tokens save it and then send okay it's working fine in here so we can register the user we can change the database in here refresh it go to user table and you can change here is the uh, data okay data user that we have created 